Hey guys, welcome back to another commentary. So we just got an update about an hour ago for me, but it'll be many more by the time you guys see this video, but um, we just got a new map and it's Hacienda and I'll just say, spoiler, um, I love this map. It is amazing. It's the, probably the best map in the beta, which took the top spot from Seaside. I used to think Seaside was the best, but this has officially taken the top spot for me and I think there's a good reason for that and actually Omega, who I was playing with, actually summed it up really well. This is right. I knew it. Secure the objectives. Raid two point. I'm telling Taking you. Taking A. Guaranteed. And it really does play like Raid. Um, actually, I'll go a step further. Um, it actually feels like the BO3 remake, which is I think Empire, but it, it's a remake of Raid, so it's basically just Raid. Like it really does feel like Raid, and everything about it is like what's awesome about like Treyarch maps, like the lane structure. Everything is great. Like aesthetically, it is beautiful. It is one of the it's one of the best maps I have ever seen ever. It is breathtakingly beautiful like I almost got sidetracked sometimes just like looking out in the distance like the fields and I, I think it's in Italy I've been to Italy and they did a really good job of like remaking those you know vineyards and whatnot like it's really really beautiful and the lane structure is amazing like all lanes lead to a flag like it's probably one of the best maps for domination because all lanes lead to a flag like somehow some way and you are bound to meet someone along the way so there is no shortage of action it is a great map and this gameplay actually is the first time I ever played the map and I think you guys can tell like I'm really into the map it is great like at, like first minute in like I was just like wow this map is great I love it this is fantastic like this is the map I've been looking for like for a, such a long time like I've just in World War 2 I've just been playing shipment 1944 because I just don't like the maps in World War 2 but this is great this is what I've been missing like it's it's awesome like what more can I say about it and on um, this gameplay in particular, I went, th um, was it 34 and 9, which is not a great score. I've done much better in the beta, but, you know, I, I think I get kind of a pass because it's my first time playing the map. But, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Um, if you don't believe me, um, here's the screen. Here's all the names. I think we might have made some people back out. Um, but all the teammates are the same. Um, here's me with the rest of the team so you can, like, reread the names if, like, you really want to know if this is my first time playing it. Um, they're 0 because, you know, for the loading in because we've never played the map before. But, yeah, like, it's great like I can't say enough good things about it like it's just a fantastic map and I can't wait to play more which is really difficult because me and Omega couldn't really find it again it's weird like we found it like our first time loading in after the update and we couldn't find it since so um, I'm looking for it I really want to play it again it is a great map like I said but it's just I don't know why it's so hard to find it when I think the point of the update was just to add the map so we could play it um, but anyways, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Um, be back with more videos very, very soon. I have a lot planned. I have, um, actually one video, I'll just kind of spoil it because I think it's pretty obvious from yesterday's video. But you guys saw, like, I went on a 21. I thought I went on a 21, like, gun streak. It was not a gun streak. It was a kill streak. The strike team kills do count towards your nuclear. So if you have strike team unlocked, and I think it's, like, level 21. So I think most of you guys, if you, you know, had the beta, you guys played last week. You guys should have the strike team unlocked by now. So run strike team. All of the kills for strike team count towards a nuclear medal and I will hopefully get a nuclear medal I did not get one I got a brutal medal doing this so like it's not a real nuclear but it is you know nuclear is a nuclear and like I'm gonna I'm pretty sure it's a glitch I, I'm pretty sure Treyarch did not intend and like this is not advanced warfare or world war ii there are no vicious medals like your kill streak should not count but I think it like I don't know in the algorithm or maybe in the system or whatever whatever runs this game um for some reason like they count the strike team as an extension of you and I could be wrong about this but I think I read um, a rumor saying like the back in Ghost um what was it the assault juggernaut from the Loki its kills would actually go towards your chem strike and I never confirmed this it was just a rumor I think on what was it like the Call of Duty Activision forums or maybe it was Reddit I don't know but like I saw this rumor and I never confirmed it but like if it's true then like yeah, I mean, this is true. Like, I, I got the gameplay yesterday. Like, it's it's definitely true. So run Strike Team and, you know, get easier nuclears before the beta's over. Because definitely take advantage of this. Because I'm pretty sure it will get fixed in the final game. Because I'm pretty sure this was not intentional. But anyways, yeah, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Um, Hacienda, again, fantastic map. Take advantage of it. Play it as much as possible. It is, again, my favorite map in this beta so far. So anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And like always, have an awesome day. I'll see you all at the next one.